Finally, all that wind, all that snow that we had over the weekend, it is coming to a close. Already has. This is what it looked like at the eyes of Howard Johnson. Tunnels back on Monday afternoon after all that fresh snow picked up well over a foot of snow up this way. Some spots up by Rabbit Ears Pass getting close to four feet of snow for our most recent storm system, and that leading to a huge improvement in terms of those snowpack numbers. A week ago, yes, we were talking about snowpack levels that were just at about 60% of their season to date average. Now we're up to about 85% of that snowpack level. So some great news with those weather headlines. Yeah, it does start to finally relax in terms of the winds and the foothills. We've had those uh, all through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But those winds, as we look ahead to your Tuesday, relaxing. It's dry and warm for the next few days. And then that weekend, cool down with some snow possible by the end of the week. But looking ahead here, Tuesday and Wednesday, lots of sunshine for us. Should be pretty nice overall. But by the end of the week, we'll see a cold front drop on in from the north and west. And that means some cooler weather and also perhaps some snow First in the mountains for us on your Friday, then by Saturday, it'll reach us into southeastern, southern and eastern Colorado. Still a little bit close to tell as to how much of an impact they'll have to us here along the front range. But you might want to plan on a few inches of snow for Friday night into Saturday morning. At this point, it looks like the heaviest snow will be in the mountains and perhaps south of the Denver area. Seven day forecast temperatures going to be in the 60s, though, for Tuesday and Wednesday in Denver. By the end of the week, we got that chance for some snow and that'll linger into the week into your Saturday. Uh, it does stay a bit on the chilly side with highs only in the 30s and 40s from Friday through the early part of next week.